I hope it's gonna stay like this forever. I want to see Fongya is the capital of adventure. I want to have people know of Fongya and Sundong. I have seen Sundong and this was one of the most precious moments in my life. I have seen so many countries already, but this is so unique. The most beautiful parts of Sendong and the most spectacular parts are in the dry sections of the cave, so they are the most fragile parts. And if mass tourism was allowed in there, I don't think they would survive huge numbers of people going there. But it's like any fantastic wonder of the world, how many people get to actually climb Mount Everest, how many people get to dive in the Galapagos, for example. Very, very limited numbers of people can go see the most fantastic places on Earth. And unfortunately, what can we do about that? We can't just send mass tourism in there at the risk of damaging some of Earth's most fantastic places. The war itself caused major problems here. So what you're seeing around here is the most bombed area ever in the world. The road down here is the Ho Chi Minh Trail, one of the major links between the north and the south and it was very very badly damaged and in 1990 there were hardly any buildings. In fact in this village there was nothing concrete until ooh, 2005. Most of what you can see here literally is in the last year and it's purely on the boom of this area with uh, tourism because of the caves. Tourism's been great for the local people, it's booming. It's changed their lives completely. They're all changing from the little wooden houses and trying to build something um, that'll withstand the floods. And also employing these people, because these are the best jungle men, to actually help conservation, which is, I think, a really good way of helping preserve the area. On the other hand, I think an uncontrolled development of tourism plus a thinking that, you know, if I have money, then I have the right to visit everywhere and I have the right to shop everywhere and to be entertained everywhere. And that kind of thinking um, has started to create damage to, to the country, to the environment. If maybe when a more tourist comes, may change affect the, the daily life or maybe the cultures of the village. This can be effect on the water resources. I want Fongya to stay sustainable. I want the environment to stay clean. We have beautiful jungle, we have beautiful cave and I want to combine between tourism development and natural protection. The ecosystem there is really fragile and it's been untouched by humans for millions of years. The geology is in motion. Big boulders are still shifting. If you were to put in, for example, a big cable car, not only would mass tourism mean that it wouldn't be the cave that it is now, but you also might do enormous damage just in the process of building on such unstable ground. Well, the challenge in Vietnam is that the whole process of investment is not well defined and there's an uh, utmost lack of transparency and accountability. So the public knows very little uh, and not very much in advance about um, what the province is going to do, what the company is going to do.
Vietnamese government is different. It's difficult for us to work with them because, you know, in, in Vietnam, we don't really have, how to call it, like, de democracy. So, freedom of speech is, is also a problem here. You can't really raise your voice, like, too much about, like, sensitive problems like politics or, you know, corruption. And now, like, a lot of things happening, we can't really, you know, talk too much about that, even online. So, what we can do now is, we can't say that we can stop that, but um, we can do something um, to, you know, postpone it and to stop it for a while uh, until, you know, we have a better management or like better, um, you know, I can't say like better <laughs> government but it's more like better policy in you know organizing or managing managing the country so now i think it's no longer just either or you know either growth or environmental protection now the situation is that we need to protect the environment and nature in order to, to achieve social justice and a quality of life. Otherwise, you will have nowhere to go except to shopping malls. The media is controlled, so we demand uh, transparency, we demand the right to be involved, the right to participate, to have a dialogue with the local government with the companies and to be heard and uh, we demand a free access to, to information. It can be compared with the Mount Everett. This is the special. Tell everyone, tell the world how special Sundong, how beautiful is the cave and why we need to protect Sundong and why we should protect this national park. Sao chẳng thấy đâu